Beach here. A little bit of a rising up uh, for the proletariat against the bourgeoisie of the Mario universe. Indeed. Eat the rich, folks. Eat the rich. <laughs> uh, comments from the peanut gallery. And they have no bread to eat, well, let them eat cake. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Marie Antoinette. And of course, you they know, were terrible. Mar uh, Bowser did trick Mario into coming into the castle in 64 by promising him a cake from Peach, so, you know, also within lore. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's, uh, all right, going from a, <sighs> oh my gosh. The downer just eating through Peach Bomber. <laughs> I don't know what do, I mean. What does what does the bourgeois mean to a dinosaur? I ask you that. Yeah, honestly, do they have an idea of what class is? <laughs> I mean, I Dino feel like I feel like Yoshi would because I mean, Tamari is just a tool to use. You know, you're able to jump away and you know throw him, plummet him to his death while you advance further on in your platforming. Well, I mean, they take. Well, I mean, dinosaurs take the concept of eating the rich just a little literally. True. You know, they, True. Yoshi they're, especially. They're dinosaurs, exactly. Put them in an egg. There. You yeah, I, could, I have call, could I have called that anybody? Tries Come to call on. the mash there, too, with the down B, but you saw Jack mashing out there and getting the side B to keep him safe. All right, so Suarez sitting at 129%. You do not want an angry Yoshi on your hands, let me tell you. And that oh, back yeah. air is eventually going to take the stock. Dude, I like that a lot, too. You saw Suarez actually facing towards Jack and then immediately turn away to get the back air out. And Jack had a pretty strong start in this game, too, so it's unfortunate that Suarez was able to close that out first, and now we just see how much damage Yoshi can rack on immediately. Nairs through the egg here, gonna air dodge in, doesn't cover it, but the up smash? No! Yoshi too heavy and did not get the sweet spot either. Yeah, Yoshi a uh, shockingly hard character to kill. I mean, you can get Yoshi live into, uh, up into the 200s on the regular. You might see it now, actually, sitting at 170. And with the best airspeed in the game, doesn't have to worry about not having an upbeat for recovery. Oh, the forward throw will eventually seal the deal, but the damage has been done, as you see, 170%. Jack, he's uh, playing on the back foot here, and that's never where you want to be, especially when you're talking about a character that is uh, very button-oriented like Yoshi. Yeah, a lot of a lot of special, or excuse me, oh no. Oh, the shield break, and Suarez! He knows the spotlight's on him, and he's gonna put on a show for the people. Yeah, and like you were mentioning, you know, some of the button-heavy characters in Yoshi. Uh, a lot of normals coming out. You're gonna see a lot of aerials as well. And it's incredibly strong for this character. Used to be said in four, you could kind of roll your face across the A button, and things would work out for Yoshi. But you know, in this game, you have to be a little more careful to work around the shield and work around the parry mechanic as well in this game. But Jack now full like a stock and a half down against Suarez, unfortunately, after that shield break. So now, oh my! Is that that, sideways? Yeah, didn't even get yeah. the sweet spot enough to do it. That forward air just brutal coming out yeah, from gonna Suarez. Be, this and gonna be the final stock here. Yep, he's and been going for a little bit too. I love the, and that's really like Yoshi 101. You use the egg either off stage or on stage to control a lot of the airspace around your opponent, and the fact that he forced him to go high and made him know he was able to get that uh, that fair and close things out. Indeed, and what you saw there. It was, uh, it was interesting to see just how committed Suarez is on his kills. I mean, he was starting up that he was starting up that uh, that forward air from, like, halfway across the stage. Oh, yeah. Just, There's a little bit of wind-up in there, a little bit of spice behind that one. Oh, absolutely. I mean, hey, you, you got to have that. You know, you got to you, – you either you either want the kill or you don't. And yeah. Suarez clearly did. Jack, nothing – not a whole lot he could do about that. To bring it back around, you know, spices does make food better, you know, make eating the rich easier. So, you know, keeping it up. Keep up the good work, Yoshi. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. There you go, man. Seize the means of production. <laughs> or whatever. So, to Unova we go for game number two. Yeah, you're Ironic see that we go to the zone inspired by America. Oh, we're yeah. talking, about, uh, <laughs> talking about Marxism. Was, was Unova America? I'm not a Marxist. I have no opinion on that. What? It, I believe Unova was based on New York. You might be right, actually. I think you're right. You're right. You're right. There you go. I was thinking of uh, if, if you look on Gen the, Six, actually. I mean, if you look on the map of Unova, you can actually see where the House of Three Thousand streams every single week for the Xeno Weeklies. Nice plug. I'm, Thank you. I'm actually really proud of that. that Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Brosa. <laughs> Thank you, Brosa. That means a lot, Jack. Playing on the back foot might not be too proud of his gameplay if he gets 0-2 here. However, this is Suarez you're talking about. One of the better Yoshis on the face of the planet and one of the people putting New York on the map on a regular basis. And, I mean, what makes him such an effective player in your mind? 
Uh, for Suarez, I mean, Yoshi's going to have an incredibly strong uh, mid or low and mid-level combo game uh, at these different presents. And the fact that he's able to confirm just like that out of reverse oh up till into up air, it's just the little things, man. He's got better confirms than he has in four. The, the rolling egg is really good as well. And you see that there are just three hits into 56%. So much damage. Now Jack meets his projectile in midair with the other and floats on stage as Peach does. And there's more of that just quick damage. Yeah. And what makes it really difficult, you have to commit against Yoshi. You can't just let him throw eggs. Because as, as soon as he gets one of those initial combo starters, it's it's over for you. Oh god. You know, I do what I do like about Suarez's game is just how patient he is in the air, especially in the face of a peach of all things. Oh god, he's dead. I mean that turnip killed him. You know that he can get nared, and yeah, just a little too deep for Yoshi to recover. Sitting at 138%. Yoshi, again, with that back air. There's a lot of muscles in that tail, man. Yeah, I was about to compliment. That was the first time so far this set that he was able to punish the air dodge back to stage from Yoshi, but the fact that Suarez came back immediately and just closed out that stock you know, kind of mitigates it. Indeed. So, Suarez, I mean, what I was about to say is the fact that he commits, uh, it, he knows to commit, but at the same time, he, I guess what I'm trying to say is, he knows when to use what option because he just sits there and waits in midair as the guy is floating down towards him. He waits out that air dodge and then he attacks. And that's why he's so efficient in the air. That's why he's so effective in the air. That's why you see him getting these kills off of the back air and especially complementing it with those kills uh, with those short hop, uh, with those short hop bears. The grab, especially hard to grab with Yoshi. I'm impressed. Yeah, very laggy, not a, not a great option for him, but it's worth making it work. It's one of the things you can throw it up as a mix-up, but that's about it, because you see right there, he's going to get punished for it at full length. Oh, oh my! Closing the gap here now. Jack sending out a divine mandate, and that is going to take the second stock off of Suarez. I mean, this guy is a New Jersey PR, so he's not going to go down too easily, but... Oh, my God, the jab lock there. So close from Suarez. Oh, oh my! Just outside up the get up attack range and Suarez is gonna finish that out 2-0 with the charged F smash. Goodness gracious. A dinosaur size 2-0 from Suarez and he's gonna move on to top 32. And I believe he did so undefeated as well.